Let's look at how to set up a meeting in a group calendar. The intention here is to create an appointment so that everyone in that group is notified of the meeting and can accept or decline the invitation accordingly. So first thing you want to do is come to your Outlook calendar on the web. So I'm using the web app as opposed to the desktop app. Uh, I'll pick the date and time and then I'll just add a title there. I'll call it test. And then what you do want to do is you'll notice that it picks your personal calendar by default. But what you need to do is click on the little drop down arrow there and you'll see a list of groups that you have access to. You pick a particular group that you want to invite to this particular meeting and you'll notice that it changed color. This is this is obviously dependent on how you've set up your colors. But an important thing to note here is that it tells you that an invitation won't be sent to group members unless you invite them uh, because it's a fair assumption that when you set up a meeting in a group calendar you would think that um, the people in that group are going to be receiving an email about the uh, appointment but they don't so what you do need to do is click on invite members here and that opens up a wider view you'll see that it adds that particular group to the invitee list and this will make sure that all members of this group receive an invitation in their inbox uh, so once you've done that you obviously pick your time and so on and so forth and you do have the option of either uh, meeting at a particular location a physical location if you were having a face-to-face -face meeting uh, and you do also have the option of making this an online meeting by picking either Skype or Teams um, we more often use Teams these days so I'll pick Teams now by picking Teams, obviously this becomes an online meeting where you click the link in the invitation to join the meeting. Uh, but when you are setting up a Teams meeting, unfortunately you don't have the option of targeting a particular team or a channel through this interface. So once that's all done, you simply pick Send and you'll see that the invitation or rather the appointments added to your uh, group calendar there. Uh, you obviously need to have your group calendar view set up so you'd go into your groups area of your calendar and make sure that that particular group is ticked so that it shows up and there you can see that it's now got added to my personal calendar as well now it's interesting to note that because I created the invitation uh, you'll see that it has automatically added to my calendar and I'm not going to receive an email because I created the invite and it assumes that I've, I'm accepting the invite so it's already added to my calendar uh, however if we have a look at another mailbox that we actually sent the invite to or rather a person who's part of this particular group you will find that they will receive an email uh, in their inbox where they can RSVP by clicking on that button or they'll also see it in their calendar view and they can accept it or decline it there as well so I hope that helps.